When I read the synopsis of No Address, I just uh, pictured how real all of the stories were and how easy it is for a normal, average individual to quickly fall down that slope to homelessness. You know, what stood out to me the most when I read the script No Address was the community that people built. And I thought, I thought the film did a really good job of showing the beauty of relationships and the importance of relationships. I think one of the greatest things about the No Address movie is it humanizes the condition. When you go through, it's a great story. They're, they're great characters and you follow them through of how they got there, how they survive on the street and how they exit from the street. It resonates for me as someone who does this work every day as uh, really believable storylines. My hope for this film is that it will make homelessness uh, seem less like a social justice issue and more like um, an intimate calling to just simply know and care for my neighbor. My hope in making a film about people experiencing homelessness is that it will open people's hearts to remember that we have human beings out on our streets with nowhere to go. We've been submitting our screenplay no address to film festivals all over the world. And already we're receiving official selections from many of them from several countries. It's amazing. I mean, we've even already won Best Screenplay at several of the film festivals. And we've only just started the film festival circuit. The government's not going to solve it. The nonprofit sector's not going to solve it. The business sector's not going to solve it. We're going to have to solve it all together. And if nothing else, maybe seeing the film No Address makes somebody more sympathetic and supportive, that's a significant accomplishment. One of the goals that we have with our film is that we're hoping that when people are done watching it, they'll have a kind of a new understanding of what homeless people are really going through and all the challenges that they have. No one ever asked, what have you been through? That I was not all the labels that they were putting on me as much as I was just a woman out in the world alone who had nobody else and I just had a broken heart.